With how chaotic everything already looks, you'd think that there's no way things could possibly get worse for Amber, considering how the general public already feels about her. But boy do I have news for you. According to reports, the actress has found herself in yet another pretty intriguing fix and given all the backlash she's already getting, I don't see a way out of this one for her. So, what exactly has Amber gotten herself into once again? I'm not sure if it's the fact that she lied all through the trial or the fact that she posted a statement implying that her case is the yardstick for all domestic violence cases, but something that Amber has done has definitely given the public the eek about her and it seems it's all about to get worse. According to news floating on social media, Amber has actually been caught up in yet another blatant lie and this one isn't just going to affect how people view her. There's a great chance it will actually affect how things will turn out in the trial. The lie in this case dates all the way back to hours after the verdict was read and the actress's lawyer Elaine Bredehoff got on an interview with NBC to talk about why things ended the way they did and she made some pretty bold comments and accusations. But outside all of that, she also revealed some detailed part of Amber's plans going forward from her to pursue an appeal. I rejected it. You argued in your, in your closing arguments that if they found even one instance of abuse, and it did not even have to be physical abuse, that they would have to find for Amber Heard. And they didn't. And the other part to bear in mind here is nothing changed. The op-ed didn't even mention Mr. Depp by name. Uh, and so what basically they did here is demonize her. And they did, they were able to suppress the, the medical records, which were very, very significant because they showed a pattern back, going all the way back to 2012, of Amber reporting this to her therapist, for example. Now, Elaine stated that Depp's side suppressed the medical records, which are basically therapists' notes of Amber reporting the incidents. And while most people already know these are nothing short of blatant lies, some social media experts have actually identified that Amber did more than lying, as they reportedly traced patterns in these therapists' notes she presented and found that she might have actually forged them herself. The revelation was made via a Twitter post that went viral, pointing out all of the obvious similarities in the therapist's notes and the actress's handwriting. And I gotta say, something is fishy. The post in question was also captioned with some of the specific similarities saying, suspicious similarities between Amber Heard's handwriting and her therapist's note. Pay particular attention to the way the E, F and TH is written, given that the person actually made sense with the post, and fans could actually see the similarities between the two handwritings. A lot of them were able to relate to just how much of a liar Amber is and most of them even spoke about how they felt. One user wrote, I was a therapist for a decade. I worked in child protection and DV and in hospitals. Therapists never write like this. We use short form notes, under headings, with lots of abbreviations and acronyms. This is so obviously a layperson's imagining of what therapists notes look like. Another user pointed out another more subtle similarity in the handwritings. They wrote, do therapists just write a person's first name at the top of a handwritten page? Also, wouldn't it be unusual to use a famous person's real name? Now, in regular a person's cases, this might not exactly be a big deal, or it might not even be a point of interest at all. But given the fact that it is Amber and she has repeatedly lied and even been caught at it so many times in the past, she has basically lost all form of credibility. And it's even worse that all of this is happening right before she plans to file for appeal. Well, with something as bad as this out in the open, it'll probably take a miracle to get her that appeal hearing. But tell us, with everything you've seen of the case so far, do you believe she could actually go as far as forging documents?